what is going on everyone badger here make sure to like and sub and let's get into this and unfortunately capcom is the next in a long line of dei victims that as uh, seen here is going full woke and you never go full woke but unfortunately they are and the results are all the same so here we go capcom goes full woke reveals its localization team alters video games for cultural adapt preserving context and inclusive over uh the west is pretty well taken over and they are trying to do it to the east and uh, a lot of the east is resisting but here we go japanese developer and publisher capcom admitted that its localization team is altering video games for cultural adaptation preserving context and inclusive storytelling capcom's game library is extensive companies more than more recognized video game publishers having developed and or published dragon's dogma 2 which of course is making all the waves right now for its micro transactions Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Monster Hunter, Devil May Cry, Ace Attorney, Mega Man, Dead Rising, Lost Planet, and more. The official Capcom localization team account on X posted, what is localization? Embark on a global adventure through the lens of game localization. Beyond mere translation, we're diving into the art of cultural adaptation, preserving context, and those first two finds are, are the, the first two ones are good. That's fine. Yes, it's the inclusive storytelling part that I'm uh, troubled by. Join us as we unravel the intricacies that make games resonate worldwide. The account added, uh, localization isn't just about translating words. It's about adapting the game for a global audience. Think cultural nuances, idioms, and regional flair. A good localization makes players feel right at home, whoever they are in the world. True. True, again, so I'm, I'm fine with that part. Uh, next, they stated, lost in translation? Nah, preserving the vibe is key. Joke, references, and even gameplay elements might need a little cultural remix. It's important to find that sweet spot to make sure players get the intended experience without feeling like something got lost in the process. Each language has its unique structure and cultural context. Our teams work to ensure the narrative and dialogue maintain coherence and emotional impact. It's not just about words. It's about capturing the essence of the story in a way that resonates with the target audience. Now, so far, that is 100% the goal of all localization but it is in that key moment and translation of those local idioms and cultural references that they put in specific dei and woke messaging and i suspect that is what we're gonna be yeah here we go the team then announced it was fully embracing wokeness with cultural sensitivity changes in characters and inclusive language and representation for cultural sensitivity and characters, the company wrote, character design and development must be culturally sensitive. I.e., if you're making a game for the West, I guess we have to have the females all ugly. Uh, what may be acceptable in one culture might be offensive in another. Localizers play a crucial role in ensuring that characters are relatable and respectful, avoiding stereotypes or other references that could be perceived as negative in specific cultures. As for inclusive language and representation, it said, localization efforts extend to promoting inclusivity through language and representation. This involves adapting not only linguistic aspects, but also addressing the gender-specific language, cultural norms, and diverse perspectives. The aim is to create an immersive experience where players from different backgrounds can identify with characters and narrative. This can be very challenging for certain languages due to grammar. Capcom continued the post. Humor often relies on cultural references and wordplay, making it a challenging aspect of game localization. Translators must carefully navigate puns, jokes, and cultural references to maintain the attended comedic effect. This requires a deep understanding of the target audience's sense of humor while staying true to the original wit. 
And the post concludes with consistency in terminology. The section reads, maintaining consistency in terminology is crucial for a smooth and coherent gaming experience. This applies not only to translating words, but also to ensuring that game mechanics, instructions, and lore are consistently represented across languages. Establishing a cohesive language system helps prevent confusion and enhances the overall gaming experience for players worldwide and so former world world of warcraft team lead mark kern reacted to the post writing capcom goes full woke in their localization changes characters gameplay and more for dei he added this is their osaka based localization team which is full of westerners and localization who are extremely left-leaning and control the narrative how do i know my insider scoop posts tomorrow so there's uh, some of his just proving again, because he always brings receipts that the people doing this localization are all Westerners who are already corrupted by the woke mind virus. Yeah, that's them explaining it. Kern is accurate in describing Capcom as going full woke based on their confirmation that they are actively engaging in cultural sensitivity with characters and inclusive language and representation. This woke ideology of Capcom is bracing is evil. Bishop Robert Barron explained in an interview with Angelus News, first they advocate a deeply agnostic social theory, uh, antagonistic social theory, whereby the world is divided sharply into two classes of oppressors and oppressed. Second, they relativize moral value and see classical morality as an attempt by the ruling class to maintain itself in power. Third, they focus not so much on the individual as on racial and ethnic categories, and hence they endorse the idea of collective guilt and recommend a sort of reverse discrimination to address the injustices of the past. Fourth, they tend to demonize the market economy and the institutions of democracy, uh, democracy as part of a superstructure defending the privilege. Fifth, they push towards equity of outcome throughout the society rather than equality of opportunity. He added, and finally, wokeism employs divisive and aggressive strategies of accusation that are contrary to the gospel demand to love our enemies. Suffice it to say, the Catholic social teaching stands athwart of all of this. It wants social justice, of course, but not on woke terms. Its heroes are not Marx, Nietzsche, and Foucault, but... Uh, rather, Isaiah, Amos, Jeremiah, Jesus, the Lord. Yeah, and then, okay. Uh, it's not that Capcom is in, it's not just that Capcom that is embracing this evil, uh, evil ideology. Nintendo is as well. And we, yes, we've talked about that too, that Nintendo of America on their career page also has localizers. Um, yeah, doesn't bode well. And I'm sure, you know, the first part of explaining what it is, is great. It's the part where they go to the sensitivity of characters and the inclusive storytelling. And of course, the receipts that Grums uh, showed that most of these, even in the East, have people that are either from the West or have adopted Western ideas. And all of a sudden, you're going to start seeing their video game characters look more androgynous, more bored like their female characters look more ugly. You're going to start seeing the same things that have happened in Western games. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but hopefully, we're all on board with the Grums AAA game uh, moratorium for two years. Just don't buy a new game for two years. Do that standing on my head. My Steam backlog is insane. So I'm going to go be playing some of that. Let me know what you think of this. RIP Capcom. Make sure to like, share, and sub. We are almost at 3,000. I think we're like 20 people away from 3,000. So be a hero. Sub to the channel today and hit us at 3,000 subs. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you've done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well, well. bye.